Hey, my old friend. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Good. So, what can you tell me about the Australian Royal Commission? I don't know anything about it. Why not? We talked about it the last time. Not I. <laughs> what do you mean, not I? Put your camera away, would you? Plus, plus, you're you're uh, probably an elder. You should know about the Australian Royal Commission. I mean, if I was to ask you about Russia, you can tell me all about Russia. So, how come you can't tell me about Australia? I don't, I don't get that. Mmm, beautiful day out, isn't it? Do you like the weather? Beautiful. Do you appreciate it? I do too. I like it. I'm enjoying it today. Nothing to say about Australia? I didn't like the weather. I can talk to you about the weather. Well, are you here to talk about the weather? I can talk to you about the weather. <laughs> there is nothing to say about the weather. For me it is. Well, I already acknowledge it's a beautiful day. Okay. What else is there to I'm say? Good. I'm good. Are you good? <laughs> no. I want to. I want to know about the Australian Royal Commission. Then I suggest you go and check them out. They could probably give you the more. But it has point. to do about. I suggest that I. All I, about I, your I organization. Suggest, I suggest that you go talk to them about it. So let me inform you about the Australian I, Royal I Commission. I, I ask that you not. I'm not asking for your information. The so Australian Royal Commission when I, when did an I ask inquiry. That you do, what I ask that you on do your is, organization, if you want to know that information, I know all about it. Then I don't, and I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, that's too bad for you. Because um, see, I was born and raised into this organization, and I didn't have a choice. Everything I, was spoon-fed to me. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna spoon. That does, that I'm gonna spoon-feed you the way I was me. as well. That has nothing to do with me. Of course not. So, so but you're part of this organization. You represent them. Your, your situation that you encountered has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you. Because you push policy that is set forth by the Watchtower what Society. You so you nothing, have a direct connection. Has to do with me. And that you choose to film me. And if I see it someplace without my permission, it would be questionable. Well, I mean, you can go to... You want to write it down? I anyway, can tell you exactly no, where to go. No, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to look at anything. You'll see our previous conversation no. there as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Um, That's good. Going back to the Australian I Royal Commission. I have no desire to discuss that. Okay, then I'll discuss it with this lady. So you really should, and I know at your age, you probably don't go on the internet, you, you don't get any information online, <laughs> everything is fed to you via JW.org, correct? So on JW.org, you can find out all about Russia and how you guys are being persecuted, being banned as extremists, right? Oh yeah, you should do that, you know. That, that's a typical thing that the elders would have the sisters do. Bye-bye, sister. This is just typical procedure for the watchtower. And I wouldn't advise you to count your field service hours because you're not at the cart. So, what's going on with all the uh, pedophiles? <laughs> Almost 2,000? Come on now, how could this be God's organization? They did an inquiry and found almost 2,000 pedophilia cases and not one was reported to the authorities in Australia. I mean, now you can, now you can see why the Watchtower wouldn't put anything like that on JW.org, right? Negative news or press isn't good for their image, all right? I mean, I feel bad for you because I speak to witnesses everywhere and I talk to a lot of elders and I presume that you are one and a lot of them are ignorant about anything that has to do with the commission in Australia and if they do know about it they probably just pretend that they, they don't know about it because it's just a negative negative you like you can have it no I don't think they want anything <laughs> negative press is not good for the watchtower um, so why do you guys have this policy not to report pedophilia to the police? I don't. 
why is it that your policy states you first have to uh, call the, your local branch office and your local branch office then has to call the lawyers at Brooklyn? Why is that your protocol? I mean, is that how God's a true organization supposed to operate? Yeah? They cannot trust worldly people. Anyone who is not a Jehovah's Witnesses cannot be trusted. And the authorities are no different. That's why the witnesses do not bother notifying the witnesses. Because in their words, they, knew, they do not want to drag Jehovah's good name through the mud. And so they have the two witness uh, rule, the two witness policy in your uh, Shepherding the Flock book, which is all over the internet. And uh, you point to the scripture incorrectly that says a person must have two witness in order to bring a case, right? For a judicial, uh, for a judicial committee. Um, the Australian Royal Commission pointed out to you guys that two things. You guys are a captive organization. There is no good... You don't have, have to no say desire. anything. I have no <laughs> desire to hear this. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses are part of a cult. I was with them for 35 years. See, that's effective witnessing. Um, I was born and raised as a Jehovah's Witness, third generation. So I know how to preach. I'm pretty bold. You know, I'm not deterred. I have no desire to have this conversation. I know you don't. Okay. So No Jehovah's okay. Witness ever do. Yeah. You know what we do as Jehovah's Witnesses when people tell us they don't want to talk with us? You know what we do? What do you do? We go on. We move on. Oh, I would love for you to move on. No, no, no. That would be on you. <laughs> well, I'm not moving on. Oh, you can see some Jehovah's Witnesses over there videotaping. Which is very funny because, you know, they often call the cops on me and then I get to witness to the cop and let him know that they never call them for pedophilia cases. I have lots of videos, as my viewers already know, of me speaking with cops. Um, so, moving, moving forward, the Australian Royal Commission says you guys are a captive organization. Boy, did I find that out when I wanted to leave. You see, sir, I was sexually molested by one of your members, an elder, mind you, and I decided to leave. But there is no honorable way to leave this organization. And that's why the Australian Royal Commission says that you guys are a captive, captive organization. But beyond that, they also said that you guys are a cruel organization because of your two witness rule. Very, very cruel. You know, if, if a little girl was to go to you and say, brother, somebody touched me inappropriately, you're going to say, little one, do you, have, do you have another witness or two? And if they say no, nobody saw, well, just leave it in Jehovah's hands. He will take care of it in his due time. So you're guy, you guys are cruel. You guys don't utilize the, the secular authorities to investigate, right? Here, they're gonna have a little cheap talk. Magazine quota for this month. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're doing mind games here. Did you get yours? So again, this is yet another video pointing out to you guys that you can tell a, a seasoned, experienced Jehovah's Witness what has happened to you as a child growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, being molested by one of their own, who is still, mind you, an active Jehovah's Witness, and they will have no reaction. None. His reaction is actually no better than when I told my parents what had happened to me. Um, because this cult really takes away a person's um, empathy. Their feelings, their natural affection toward each other. The love that the Watchtower produce has a light switch on there. That means that you can turn it off and on, you know, at will. So if you were to decide to leave the Jehovah's Witnesses, for whatever the reason is, 
that love that you thought you had amongst the brothers, that light switch will be flipped right on off. And that's how cold and cultic people like this are. So this is my second visit with this guy. You guys can see the previous uh, video. Um, I think back then I also mentioned the Australian Royal Commission and I approached him and I asked him again if, you know, what he can tell me about it, if he had the chance to look into it. And uh, he said no. He did not need to look up anything because apparently a Jehovah